Well, good morning everyone. I wonder how everyone is doing. So, I want to show you what I have today. I'm sure you all know that these are the funky puppets. And um, I don't think you do much more than with them other than just pop them. And they make a cool popping sound, eh? Uh, I could just sit and pop these things all day. They don't do much, but they're fun to play with. And um, when you're sitting in the car or you're sitting in a long time that you have to wait, you just pop them. And so this has become one of my favorite toys to play with. I love the puppets. Anyway, I wonder what your favorite toy is and or what one toy you have had to wait for or one thing that you've longed for. And if you got that one thing, what you would do with this thing and what you, how would you play with and what are your ideas that you have for it? And lots of us have those hopes and dreams for different kinds of things that we do. Hey, well, that leads us on to what we're going to start talking about today. Now, last week I introduced you to the New Testament and I told you that we're going to be looking at the family line of Jesus. And so we are going to start with the birth of John. And um, John's parents are Zachariah and Elizabeth. And they were really, really, really desperate to have a little baby. So I thought before we dive into our story, we would meet up with three of our young moms from our church because in lockdown they've had babies. And I know that they were so, so excited to have their new babies. And so we're going to meet up with three of our moms and they're going to introduce their little babies to us. Some are big, some are small. And um, they're going to introduce the, their babies and share a little bit about who they are and what their hopes and dreams are for their little baby child. So let's go meet up with our moms. And then what we're going to do, we're going to dive into our Bible story and hear about what hopes Elizabeth and Zachariah had. Hello everyone, my name is Crystal. This is Matteo, my son. He's 10 months old. He brings us so much joy. We love watching him grow and explore and just be his own little person. Um, he has a very inquisitive nature and we love making him laugh. He giggles all the time. Um, my hope for him is that he just becomes strong and independent and uh, really the person that God has called him to be. Um, I hope you all have a great day. Hi, I'm Kirsten and this is Elijah. He's a year and a half. He's brought... He's, this one on. He's brought so much joy and laughter into our house. Um, since he's arrived and I think the thing that we love most about Elijah is his easygoing nature, he's always happy, always content and it's just a joy to spend time with him and play with him. The thing that we want to speak over most over Elijah's life or pray for Elijah is I think the meaning of Elijah's name which is my God is Yahweh. We specifically picked that name because we love the meaning and we always just pray over Elijah's life that he knows that he always has a God to turn to and that God will forever be his pillar of strength and support. We just pray that the God, the plan that God has over Elijah's life will come into fruition. Yay! Yay! Yes! So, we can't wait for everyone to spend more time with Elijah Ow. and get to know him too. Say bye! Bye Elijah! Say bye! Wave bye! Wave bye! Hello everybody, I'm Diane and this is Erin. He was born in October last year so he's almost 10 months old and he has brought so much love and joy to our family. And as you can see he loves adventure in, the, in nature, finding stones and rocks to eat. And I love that he is very curious about the world and super friendly to everyone he meets and my hope for him is that he continues to stay curious and he grows up to be friendly and compassionate and loving to all those around him and most of all that one day he chooses to know God and to follow him Zachariah and his wife Elizabeth did not have any children. They loved God and Zachariah was a priest. 
Two times a year, Zechariah went to Jerusalem to serve in the temple. Many priests worked in the temple. One day, Zechariah was chosen to do a special job. People were praying outside and Zechariah went inside the temple. Suddenly, an angel of the Lord appeared. Zechariah was afraid. Don't be afraid, the angel said. God heard your prayer. Your wife will have a son named John. God's spirit will be with him. The angel said that John would get people ready for the Messiah to come. How can I know this will happen? Zechariah asked. I am old and my wife is old. The angel said, God sent me to tell you this good news. Now because you did not believe my words, you will not be able to speak until these things happen. Zechariah left the temple and he could not talk. He went home to Elizabeth. She became pregnant and gave birth to a son. Her neighbors and relatives were so happy. Zechariah and Elizabeth named their son John. Finally, Zechariah could speak again. He praised God. God's spirit was with John. Zechariah told the people God's words. God has come to help his people. He will save us through David's family. He will rescue us from our enemies. Then he spoke to John. You will be called the prophet of the Most High. You will go before the Lord to prepare a way for him. The time had come. God was going to bring his light into the dark world. Peace was coming for God's people. John grew up and lived in the wilderness until God told him to get the people ready for Jesus. Wow, what a really special story. So just like your toy that you longed for, and those moms who have been so excited since their babies were born and their dreams and hopes. So Zachariah and Elizabeth longed for their baby and they also had hopes and dreams for their baby and their baby was John, as we've just learned. I found it so interesting that when Zechariah doubted God, he couldn't speak and God actually closed his mouth so that he couldn't speak anymore. We shouldn't doubt God's promises, should we? But the moment John was born, God allowed Zechariah to speak again and he believed God's word and he praised God. It's so important to trust God and, and then to give him thanks and praise when God comes through for us. So John now is Zechariah's son and the purpose that God had in sending John was to get people ready for Jesus. So he was the pave maker for Jesus. He was going to pave the way for when Jesus was going to come. So in other words, he was the forerunner. He's like the introduction before Jesus comes. So he had an amazing purpose um, for his life. And isn't that incredible? Zachariah and Elizabeth prayed for a, an amazing child and God blessed them with John, who was going to be the forerunner to Jesus. So if John's purpose was to point people directly to Jesus, my challenge for me and for you is how do we point people to Jesus? Wow, John did that right through his life. He pointed people to Jesus. So I want to encourage you in whatever you do and the things you say and the things you do and how we behave in, the, in our homes and outside our homes with our siblings and our friends. Remember whatever we do to point people to Jesus, hey? Let them see Jesus in us. Well, thanks to our moms for joining us and um, I look forward to seeing you again next week where we learn a little bit more about Jesus and what God's plan in sending him was. So guys, have a wonderful day and see you next time. Bye!